Hey guys, uh, this is Anthony with a video on how to set up parental controls on the VTech InnoTab Max Kids Educational Tablet. So first thing you want to do is log in as a parent uh, using the parental control icon, which is this one right here. Just drag and drop it in there. And um, it'll ask you for your password, so just enter your password. And it'll bring you to this parental control dashboard. Now it's important to set up, uh, you know, parental controls on this uh, uh, kid's tablet because uh, it's a Wi-Fi enabled tablet, and you basically can access any um, website using the VTech browser. So on this parental control um, dashboard, as you can see, there are several icons uh, right here. So let me quickly, you know, browse through uh, some of them. Uh, some of the key ones. So this one right here, first of all, you have to enable uh, Wi-Fi to be able to, you know, effectively use this tablet. So if you click on the Wi-Fi, um, now obviously this one is turned on. I've already turned it on. But when you first switch on your tablet, it's not going to be uh, turned on. So as you can see, this little switch right here, um, it's an on and off switch. So um, obviously if it's not turned on, it's going to be off. You basically just... Uh, click that um, button to switch it on and then it's going to display a whole bunch of uh, um, you know wireless networks that are within the range so for example um, this one right here is mine and let's just say uh, you're setting it up you basically just click on the um, wireless network and it's going to ask you for the password okay and then you just say connect so it's, it's as simple as that. The next thing you can do under parental controls is set time limits. So as you can see right here, uh, there are two um, sections right here. The top section right here is the uh, daily usage limit. And as you can see, currently it's, uh, there's no limit. And you essentially just drag and drop this little indicator across. And as you can see, the, the time changes. So obviously, if it's right down here, there's no limit. If you want to set, uh, you know, a six-hour limit, you uh, pretty much put it right there. The indicator at the bottom right here is basically uh, helping you to set up the tablet uh, to be used during specific hours of the day. So, for example, if you want to, in a day, um, if you want your kid to be using it from eight to say twelve, you'd have to just remove the check marks. So from 8 to 12, and then this is obviously AM, and then in the afternoon, let's say, let's just say, um, you know, from 4 to um, 6, then you remove these check marks right there, and then just click OK. So that's uh, pretty much in terms of the uh, time limits. The content lock. Uh, essentially helps you uh, to prevent content from being accidentally deleted um, and they're basically on and off switches right here so just click on the on buttons and then it uh, protects it so it's basically for music playlists uh, photos and personal videos okay and then just click OK the next one is the web browser as I mentioned earlier, it uh, allows you to um, access websites, and there are four sections right here, or tabs. As you can see, the first one is pre-approved sites, um, history, time limits, and browse. Um, the first section right here has got two additional tabs. Um, so if you click on the VTEC selected tab, you can see there are sites, videos, and games that are pre-selected or pre-approved. Um, I'd suggest that you still go through uh, the sites, videos, and games just to make sure that uh, you know they are kid friendly for, uh, for your specific kid. Um, so this section right here, as you can see, these are all uh, the websites that are pre-approved by VTech as kid friendly. And if you see in this section right here, um, currently I just have one user sort of set up. You can have multiple users, and they'll all show up here. So for example. Uh, for one kid, if you want these first three websites to be OK and all the rest no, then you basically just uh, uncheck this little circle. And similarly, you can basically customize for each of the users. 
Now, if you want to um, do the same thing for the videos, essentially the same process, and the same thing for games. Okay. And if you want to add any um, additional websites, you'd have to do it through the parent approved website. So currently I've got two of them here and I've created, I do not want to make this video too long winded. So you can check my other video on how to add a new website. And it's pretty simple. So the next one is a history tab. It basically gives you the browsing history of uh, different users. Time limit is the same one that I just showed you. You can do it from here as well. And browse is basically, if you, uh, this is a browser, if you want to browse a specific website, uh, just, you know, type the web address in here and then um, hit return. Okay. Let's move on. So the profile manager is basically where you add different uh, profiles or add different kids or users. You basically just click add and then uh, enter the details and then say OK. Uh, the parent account, I'm not going to click on that, uh, but this is where you change your passwords and stuff. It's got all sensitive information. And uh, the progress log is also another good um, feature there because it, it allows you to keep uh, uh, track of, uh, you know, um, what your kids or different users um, are doing in terms of the curriculum. The tablet setting, um, a section allows you to change different settings. For example, uh, you change uh, time and date, the camera settings, change a passcode here, and um, the brightness, the screen uh, brightness, and firmware updates or so any downloads. And finally, down below here, uh, this is where your download sort of uh, uh, manager is, as well as the learning lodge. Learning lodge is the VTAC um, store and if you click on it it'll take you to the store and um, as you can see there's different types of apps you know uh, multi-curriculum um, reading math videos and you know a whole bunch of bundles as well if you click on this settings icon um, you can actually go through individuals. For example, here for ebooks, you'd go right here and as you can see, you can you can browse to them and, and buy them right there. Similarly, if you want, say, music, you know, these are all the music um, downloads and same thing with videos. Um, you can also, if you know a specific title, you can just use this um, search um, icon and then just type the, uh, uh, the term there. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Um, you know, as you can see, it's, it's very important as well as very useful to set up uh, these parental controls. And um, um, even more important uh, that you set up these websites uh, that are only kid friendly because as you can see with this tablet you can access uh, you know just about any website uh, using the VTech um, web browser so you know make sure that you first set this up before you head it off, uh, over to your kids and um, if you've got any questions you can feel free to leave them uh, in the comments section and if you found this video useful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and um, you'll find many more um, you know, help uh, tutorials on this uh, VTech uh, Inotab Max on my YouTube channel. So feel free to check in. Thanks for stopping by.